And now for the BitExchange.com tale of the tape. 26 years old, both of these fighters. Two centimeters tall as Van Heerden. And it is a massive reach advantage for the Pitbull. Over to Shane the Duke Wellington for the introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, this championship bout is five rounds for the EFC Africa Interim Light Heavyweight title. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist and is currently undefeated in three professional fights. He stands 1.86 meters tall and weighs in at 92 kilograms. He's fighting out of Paro in Cape Town, presenting Gideon the Juggernaut Drotsky. And now introducing his opponent. He's fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist and holds a professional fight record of 11 wins and five losses. He stands at 1.88 meters tall and weighs in at 92 kilograms. He's fighting out of North Cliff, Johannesburg. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Donnie the Pit. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the hexagon is Pavan Ramkalawan. The lovely EFC girls proudly brought to you by RDG, driven by perfection. Ready, kid? Ready, Donnie? Let's fight! A member of the official vodka of EFC Africa brings you round number one for here in the black shorts. Drotsky in the white and black. Drotsky quite happy on the ground. Very, very happy on the ground. He had a slip with an inside leg kick and he hasn't really made an attempt to get it standing. He's made his intentions clear. He would love to keep this fight on the ground. It rolls with Rico Hutton. I mean, this guy rolled with the best in the business, though. Well, let me tell you, submitting Donny van Nieren is going to be no picnic either. He is tough as they come and he showed some great submission defense. Cautious approach here from both of these fighters. Big leg kick thrown by Gideon and Donny immediately tries to counter strike with that right. There are both of these guys see us, they train with Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belts, both over 100, well over 100 kilograms. So, you know, in, in terms of rolling with a guy that is that skilled and that heavy as well, it will really improve your overall strength. That's one area Van Heerden has improved remarkably. He's become an all-round MMA fighter, Leaps hasn't he? and bounds he's improved over the last three, four years. Both possess great power. Van Heerden catches him. Swinging wildly does Van Heerden. It didn't look like he really made contact with any of those shots. And again, Drotsky very comfortable. He wants Van Heerden to come down and play his game. Fighting. Van Heerden down, decides to stand up as Trotsky. Constantly on the move, Gideon Trotsky. Donnie is quite flat-footed early on in this bout. Side leg kick checked by Van Yedden, again checked. Oh, a couple him. of big shots, and now Drotsky sets up for the takedown. Gets Donny down successfully, tries to move to side control. This is Drotsky's Van Yedden is trying to flip him over, though. Drotsky showing good control to stay on top. See, Drotsky has a, got a hold of one of the, had a hold of one of Donny's uh, ankles. Sorry. Trying to move to the side is Gideon, but Donny doing well, just tied Trotsky up. Yeah, Gideon trying to get past Van Heerden's legs. Get into a position where he can dominate Van Heerden. Very hard to pass the guard and Donny Van Heerden. Trotsky doing so successfully though. He is indeed. Look at Donny setting up for the sweep now. And he momentarily tries to get back to his feet, and now he's given up his back. 
Trotsky very comfortable now. Trying desperately to get one of his hooks in. Dani staying very, very tight. Yeah, Trotsky trying his best to get a submission here. Trotsky trying to get one of those hooks in, but Dani just relentlessly staying tight. Now Kiko trying to stop him up with punches. Dani's trying to pull in the leg of Trotsky. Oh, looking for that single is Van Yerden. But Trotsky's got a hold of that left ankle as well. Trying to control Van Yerden. Got his hands clasped as Donny. He's going to want to try and explode forward to put Gideon on his back. But Gideon's trying to counter that by grabbing a hold of Donny's back foot so he can't push off of it. And all the while, Drotsky is landing shots. See, every time Donny tries to push, Gideon just lifts up that back foot. So skilled is Drotsky. From here to now, driving, 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 driving. Both those uh, hands are clasped around that leg of Drotsky's. Trotsky trying desperately to make something happen here. Pries down his one hand loose. Tries to get his back. Now he's got the one hook in. Yeah. Van 30 seconds remaining. He's got the one hook in. He's going to try and work it. Pitbull tries for the armbar. Might try work it into. He's popped out here with that armbar. And Kimura, yeah, but Donny is holding on. Looks like he's working for the inverted armbar, is, is uh, Trotsky. A few seconds remain. Now Donny is trying to ground and pound. Also quite easily passes the guard of Trotsky. Good position for Fanyeden to be in at the end of that round. Round one. Of this five round title fight. Donny Fanyeden. He's got his work cut out for him against Kirian Trotsky. Air instructions from Trotsky's Kiden. corner okay. by Rika okay. Hatton. Keep the, the distance. Really leg kicks, leg kicks, and then go and close the gap. Never and when you're on the ground, first soften him up and then try and go for the throat. Nimrov Vodka brings you round two of this bout. Van Heerden against Trotsky. Trotsky very comfortable on the ground, but Van Heerden holding his own here in this interim light heavyweight title fight at EFC Africa 20. It's quite a busy first round, CS. Indeed. We all know that boxing background up on here. That he'll look to stand and trade, won't he? He won't be that comfortable on the ground with a guy like Gideon Drotsky. Leg kick by Drotsky and Donny counters with a combination of punches. None of them landing. Chatting to Walter Wendt, Donny's coach earlier tonight, he said Donny is incredibly fit. He can go 10 rounds, changing sparring partners every three rounds, and he can go a full 10 rounds without tiring. So conditioning-wise, he is most certainly ready for this bout. This has that seven centimeter reach advantage, Van Heerden. We'll be looking to use that. Trotsky might be faking here against the, the side of the, the back of the cage to try and set up for a takedown, but happy to stand and trade with Van Heerden. Yeah, Trotsky's head movement. And Van Heerden. Stop, 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 stop. Time, 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 time. Stay here. I'm on the side. Time out called by okay, don't grab the cage, okay? That's intentional. I'm going to give you a last warning. Don't grab the cage. Pavan warns Dani for grabbing the fence Ready? for the Ready? takedown. Let's fight. Official about, warning. About to get taken down, though. We have time to warn the fighter. Tried the uppercut. Got Van Heerden happy to be striking with the Drotsky. Yeah, Drotsky again with his back to the cage. He's probably just inviting Donnie in and then trying to set up for that takedown. Big shot landed. Yeah, and definitely. Drotsky now has got a hold of that single. He's going to try and drive through, put Van Heerden on his back. Now he's got the double. Again, Van Heerden grabbing the fence momentarily. He's already been warned once. Next time the referee will take a point for that. And that's costly, especially in a title fight. Three rounds, Drotsky's got a lot of time to work here from top position and Barney's butterfly guard. Yeah. Yeah, Drotsky. You know he's got that ground and pound, a ferocious ground and pound. Pass by Drotsky. He tries to just trap an arm. Interesting to see how good his pace would be from this position, but Van Heerden in a terrible spot here. Drotsky is landing shots. 
again Trotsky traps that one arm and now he pushes him over that's the question that comes to mind when you do stuff like that your base but uh, Trotsky manages to stay on top though oh doing damage with that elbow fixed position he's landing big shots here is is Trotsky elbow 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 this here and in a world of hurt at the moment looks just like his last fight Trotsky just unleashing with elbows and again, see him just working, traps the arm and then goes straight back to work with the elbows. Yeah, it. Manages to escape momentarily though, but Trotsky is still in the top position. Now Van Yedin looking to take him and put him on his back, does so successfully, but stuck his neck out. Oh. This is a terrible spot. Not good for Van Yedin. Trotsky's got a hold of his neck. Wonder if that's locked up. Oh, pops and out. Just to pop out and now he's in Trotsky's guard. Looking to pass himself as Donny, but Drotsky now trying to set up for what looks like a triangle. So he's got the wrist control on the left-hand side of Donny. So busy, Drotsky. So busy. And yeah. he has also got ground and pound of his own. He could unleash. Just hasn't had the opportunity. Power punches. Van Yerden loves that top position, but he'd want to pass the guard first. It's too dangerous to sit in the guard. Now Drotsky looking to set up for a Kimura. Always moving. And he's got it in. If he can if he can lock Donny down. Oh, Donny did very well to escape that for a second. Goodness me, less than a minute rounds here. You can see Drotsky trapping Donny's right leg. Gonna try and explode out here with a minute to go. Get the Kimura. He wants to get it out there and push it towards the middle of Donny's back and to the top. Incredible strength by Van Yedlin to straighten his arm. Gets out of trouble strength. again momentarily. And he's also passed in the process, and now he takes Let's he take. takes Trotsky's back now. Superb work from Van Heeren. After being in trouble, now he's got the top position, and Trotsky just powers through, gets in top position. It looks like Van Heeren wanted to work a Kimura of his own. Trotsky so Trotsky strong. Trotsky to it though, but he's got it. It's Van Heeren cranking. Cranking. 15 seconds to go. Trotsky manages to power out though. The strength of these two fighters is incredible. 10 seconds left. 10 seconds to go. Gideon Drotsky in the top position and full mount. He's got that one arm trap. Van Yerden won't be able to get the Kimura from there from the full mount position. Let's fight! Nimura Vodka brings you round three of this bout. Drotsky against Van Heerden. That has been an intense battle. Van Heerden loves that big overhand right. He's going to try it. Something you don't see regularly from Van Yeren. Tries to set up for a kick. Both guys have definitely slowed down here in the third round. Van Yeren wants to keep it standing though. He doesn't want to go into Gideon Trotsky's world on the ground, does he, Dirk? He's been thoroughly dominated so far on the ground, so... One would have to feel that his boxing background and his boxing roots would be his best call of action in this bout. Of course, for the interim light heavyweight title. Both fighters, cautious approach here, lots of respect for one another. Every once in a while, Donny just pushes out that jab. Drotsky comes over the top with a left-right combination. Left hook, straight right. Trotsky still moving nicely, but he had a lot more flat-footed. Again, Trotsky with his back against the cage. He used that earlier to set up for the takedown as soon as Donny came in. And that's always the thing when you fight a guy who's looking to take you down is you don't want to overcommit with your punches. If you get within range and you start landing, it's so easy for him to just change his level, drop down and shoot for the takedown. Yeah. As he does right there, and he puts oh, him straight Trotsky. back down on his back. And that's why he's been so tentative so far in this fight. Trotsky is full side control now. He could look to mount here. And Donny is not defending for that. He could quite easily get the mount. But he's very happy in this position. Just traps the arms. And here it tries to escape. Did very well there to try and get that single. Trotsky now. Trotsky now on Van Yerden's back again, softening him up with punches. I'll try and look and get those hooks in. Plenty time left in this round for Trotsky from this position though. Van Yerden trying to avoid those punches from Trotsky. He's got the one hook in now. 
And now he gets the other hook in as well. Just in the dominant position here. Looks to sink in the rear naked choke. That is a tough spot for Fanier that he managed to get out of it though. Once again, Fanier and escapes. Very, very bad spot. And Trotsky is just sticking to Van Yerden's back. He is not letting go of this position. Van Yerden nearly threw him off. He's trying to get the position back there. Now he tried to set up for a triangle. Trying to trap that right arm. The left arm. In Trotsky's Trotsky. half guard now is Van Yerden on the top. This is a great opportunity for him to start and work some ground and pound. Looking for the mountain, looking to pass is Van Yerden. Trotsky not letting him though. looking for the underhook. Trotsky looks like he's got a hold of Van Yerden. What's the back of the head down here? Leg though. Possibly try and drive through. Put Van Yerden back on his, on his back. Van Yerden landing a shot. Trotsky does it successfully, but he sticks his neck out. Yeah, stuck his neck out there. Van Yerden trying for the guillotine. But immediately Trotsky walks over to the side. He felt the hand around the neck. And literally, as he felt that, he walked around to the other side. Wily customer, Great Drotsky. submission defense from Kirill Drotsky. This is his bread and butter, CS. He loves this position. To get the control, Donnie again. Both of his arms can't use and tries to set up now for that key lock. Drotsky dominating proceedings here. Change. Oh, there it is! He is the interim light heavyweight champion of the continent. Submit the pitbull at EFC Africa 20. That was very, very crafty by Ian Trotsky. He worked with it like a key lock and he changed it to the armbar. And almost immediately from here to set. We know from here does not set easily. Oh my goodness, what a win for Gideon Trotsky. Submitting the toughest nail, Donny Van Heerden. Incredible performance by Gideon Trotsky. This action replay is brought to you by Fighters Only Magazine. The big right that Van Heerden landed early in the fight. But that is just something that Trotsky used to set up for the takedown. And he did so time and time again. It's going to be interesting to see who's going to have an answer for Gideon Drotsky's ground game series. So far, he's proved that he is leaps and bounds ahead of the other guys. Again, just driving for the take gun. Every single time this fight hit the deck, Drotsky was in absolute control. Working the ground and pound, and this is where he had the key lock, changed it to the armbar. And Panielin had no thing else to do from that position, either tap out or get his arm broken. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Pavan Ramkalawan has called a stop to this contest. Four minutes and five seconds into round number three, declaring the winner by tap out due to a key lock and the new EFC Africa interim light heavyweight champion, Gideon Juggernaut Trotsky.